In this lesson, we're going to quickly recap single step calculations before moving on to multi step. But don't panic, multi step is not that difficult, and I mean it. So, to the right, you'll see a heating curve. To the left, I have all of the givens. So, all of the specific heat values, the heat of fusion, the heat of vaporization, and the melting and boiling points, which are also identified on the graph. And here's a sample question it says, How much energy is needed to heat? 10 grams of solid from 5 degrees Celsius to 10 degrees Celsius. Since we're not changing phases, we're staying a solid, we're just changing the temperature, we're going to be using the Q equals MC of solid delta T. In the question, we're given the mass. In our givens, we have the specific heat capacity of the solid, and then the change in temperature going from 5 to 10 is only 5 degrees Celsius. So let's go ahead and plug all that in. So using a calculator, 10 times 2 times 5 gives us a final answer of 100 joules. Piece of cake, right? Well, I have news for you. If you can do single step, then you can totally solve multi-step. And yes, that's a Bunsen burner in his hand because we're doing thermochemistry. Here's an example of a multi-step problem. Before we do any math, let's try to understand what the question is asking for. It says, how much energy is needed to heat 7 grams of solid at 5 degrees Celsius to a liquid at 15 degrees Celsius? 5 degrees Celsius is right about here on our curve. 15 degrees as a liquid uh, is this green point right about there. Now remember, we have... Um, to transition from our solid to a liquid. So that blue point right there is where we're beginning to transition, but we're still a solid. It seems like a lot, but you could totally do this right now. We're just going to break it into two parts. Part one is going to be going from the red point to the blue point. We're just raising the temperature of our solid. The second part is going to be transitioning from a solid to a liquid. So to complete the first part, we're going to use the Q equals MC delta T equation. The question tells us that our mass is 7 grams. In our table of givens, the C of solid is 2.0 joules over grams 2 times degrees Celsius. And the change in temperature going from 5 to 15 degrees is 10 degrees Celsius. When we multiply those three numbers together, we get a total of 140 joules. To solve the second part, we're going to need to use the heat of fusion. Again, the mass is 7 grams. The heat of fusion is 100 joules over grams. 7 times 100 is 700. So we have these two segments. We know the value of the first part. We know the energy required to complete the first part. We know the energy required to complete the second part. All we're going to do is add them together. So 140 plus 700 is 840 joules. See, I told you this wasn't hard. Here's another example of a multi-step problem. Before we do anything, again, let's take a look at the question and try to understand what it's asking for. It says, how much energy is needed to heat 15 grams of a liquid at 20 degrees Celsius to a gas at 60 degrees Celsius. Well, 20 degrees Celsius is right about here. And we want to go to uh, a gas. So we're going to have to hit this point right here where we transition from a liquid to a gas. Gas will be that dark blue spot. So that's where we've completely transitioned over to a gas. Now, from there, we're not done because we need to raise the temperature up to 60 degrees which let's say is this point up here. So in this case, we're going to have three steps. Our first step is going to be to raise the temperature of our liquid from the red point to the green point. Our second step is going to be to transition from a liquid to a gas, so going from the green point to the blue point. And then the final step will be to, to increase the temperature of our gas from 35 degrees to 60 degrees. So for the first part, since we're just raising the temperature, we're going to use the Q equals MC delta T equation. 
So let's plug everything in. 15 grams on our table of givens, since we're liquid, we'll use the C of liquid, which is 5.0 joules over grams degrees Celsius times the change in temperature. Now, take a look at what's going on. We are transitioning from 20 degrees to 60 degrees, but we're only going up to 35 degrees for that first point. So 35 minus 20 is only a difference of 15 degrees Celsius. So when we multiply those three numbers out, we get 1,125 joules. The second part, going from the green to the blue, we're going to use the heat of vaporization. So again, we'll plug in our mass of 15. The heat of vaporization is 1,000 joules. So 15 times 1,000 is 15,000. The final step, going from the blue point to the orange point, again, we're just raising the temperature. So going from 35 to 60 is a change in temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. So when we multiply those three numbers out, we get 375 joules. So we've completed each individual part. Now we just add them up and we get a value of 16,500 joules. Told you, piece of cake. You guys got this. Good luck.